yeah, I don't, I don't really set up goals in terms of where I want to play and what I want to do in my career because although it works with some other people, I think it will drive you insane trying to achieve it and um, I think you've got to be happy in the moment because you, you take it for granted. I think sometimes you look back on your career and you don't see where you've been and, and how you enjoyed it at the time, so I think you have to take a step back sometimes and realise what you're doing. Thanks for your time. No problem. You've brought us down to Brookmans Park. You brought me in. <laughs> You're a local golf club. Yep. We're going to see if you are as good at golf as Etienne is at Paul. Yeah, it'll be tricky. <laughs> First thing nerves? Do you get them? No, I, had, I have today, yeah. <laughs> Not normally. Right, let's see if we've got all the gear and no idea then. Sounds about right. Strike a mean golf ball, half decent at tennis, Premier League footballer. Were you one of those annoying kids at school who were just good at everything? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Um, I was just massively into sport when I was younger and just tried to play whatever I could. Um, got into quite a few at an early age. Is it in the genes? Uh, I wouldn't say so. My family's not blessed with sport and ability, but I just, as like I said, I really enjoyed it, so I just tried the ball out when I was younger. And athletics as well. 800 metre runner, I think someone's got you down as. Yeah, long distance definitely. I think everyone knows I'm not blessed with pace, so um, I'll stick to the long distance when I was at school. Look at the loft on that. I'll take that. Happy with that. On the dancing floor. I think you've got to get down just to make it look like you're professional. Yeah. Even though you've got no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Who's letting me get the longest drive? Troy. By a mile. I'm not sure it will be straight, but <laughs> it's definitely going a long way. It would be the one golfer you, 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 you watch, perhaps on the, on the final day of a, a major, who, who you're following? Um, Spieth is, has been my favourite the last few years. Um, just because of how he plays, he's, he's quite aggressive and he gets quite angry when he hits a bad shot, which I can relate to. So, um, But on the final day, as long as there's all, all the big boys there, I'm, I'm happy to watch it. Um, when we were out in Austria, we did the teammates thing with Troy and Andre, and they had you down as um, White Walker from Game of Thrones. <laughs> you need a bit of, need a bit of sun cream when you're out on the, on the golf course. Yeah, definitely. I've heard, I've heard all sorts throughout my career, but yeah, I'll be first to put the sun cream on. <laughs> did that make you laugh when they said that? Good bit, good a bit of. Yeah, of course it is. We're all good friends, drawing great, um, good lads. So I'll take it on the chin. <laughs> Again, why is every shot <laughs> Oh no, no, you're not getting that on. <laughs> Out of one and into another. A little chip on from here, Will? I'll give it a go. My short game is probably the, the best out of the lot. Look at the loft on that. Sit. What a shot that is. I'll take that. It's just warming up. Straight? No idea. <laughs> <laughs> One of your teammates said to me this week, um, Will's the oldest 24-year-old you will ever meet. Wow. Could be a whole host of players who could have said that. I'd probably, I'd probably agree with that, to be fair. Yeah? To an extent. <laughs> just, just because you've been around the game for a long time, or because um, you're wise beyond your years? <laughs> Not sure. A bit, bit of both, perhaps. I've, 
obviously been made my debut when I was 16, so I've been around a, a long time and my body, body's feeling <laughs> So I think you've got to take care, care of that side of it so you, you can plot your career. This said player as well, who will remain unnamed, said he undervalues himself. Um, I'm not meant to be guessing it. Is. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just interested in your reaction to that. Um, and that you quite don't realise how important you are to the team. Yeah, I don't really think of it in that way, to be fair. Um, I think it's cliche to say, but it is a team game. And if you start thinking individually and selfish, then it's not going to work out for you. <laughs> Happy with that? E it's got a nice bounce, a really nice bounce. Um, to delve a bit deeper into your character, you can look like butter wouldn't melt in your mouth, but there's a bit of an edge to you, isn't there? On the pitch, yeah. Um, I've come a lot more relaxed off the pitch, but I think once you're on the pitch, you've got to have your game face and a um, completely different person on the pitch than to off it. I remember at uh, Stamford Bridge towards the end of last season, you had a, a running battle with Alonso. That was quite quite yeah. tasty. I enjoyed that one. Yeah, I, I enjoy it as well. Um, I think it's gone out of the game a bit, you know, of these old battles you have individually. I remember watching growing up, Keane Vieira, there was always battles going on across the pitch and it was nice to get involved in, in one. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, is it a one-off? And then I noticed in the Leverkusen game, you picked a fight with somebody in there as well <laughs> and Troy had to step in. Uh, yeah, he, he gave me a little elbow running down the wing, so I waited my time and gave him a little kick after after the ball had gone. And he wasn't too happy about it, but I explained the situation so he didn't have any, any qualms about it. Under Javi Gracia now, you're, you're one of the first names on the team sheet. He seems to really like you in that right-hand side role. You get up and down. Do you feel a major part of what he's doing now? Yeah, I'm really happy. Um, cliche again, just playing games, but there's a strong competition here, so I need to keep on my toes and, and keep working hard. But when, when you're playing football, you're going to be happy, especially when you're in Southern 11, so I can't complain. Have you had to curb that kind of creative side of your game a little bit? Because I get the impression you'd quite like to sit in that number 10 in that pocket and, and weave a few nice little patterns, but you're kind of out on the right and you're doing that job for the team. Yeah, definitely. I, my preferred position is more central, but I'm not one to throw my hands up and complain that I'm playing in the Premier League. So I, I actually started my debut, my full debut for Derby was right wing. So um, I know what the role has, has in store. So the gaffer's told me exactly what he wants out of me from that position. And if that's a bit more defensive, then I'm, I'm happy to do that. It reminds me a little bit of what Mourinho was asking Joel Cole to do at Chelsea. Do you remember that period for, for Joe Cole? Couldn't he wanted to play? Before my time. Really? I'm <laughs> showing my age here. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I remember watching Joe Cole. He's fantastic. But it suits me coming in from the right. And when we do get the ball, can, it gives me licence to, to run inside. Again, Bunker Town. Nice strike. Sounds good. Nice strike. I have one more. <whistles> Come on, let's go to the bunker more often. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm going to give you a quote. Um, you quote. said this. Another quote. Um, he can be a big player for sure. He can go right to the very top. <laughs> you just made that up. No. <laughs> um, it sounds like one of your parents. Something one of your parents might say. Yeah, I told them to. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about that. Harry, no Harry Redknapp said that in 2013. Well, six years ago. Now. Yeah. yeah, a long time ago. You feel you're still on that on, on that path? Where do you think you are in your career? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't really set out goals in terms of where I want to play and what I want to do in my career because although it works with some other people, I think it'll drive you insane trying to achieve it. And um, I think you've got to be happy in the moment because you take it for granted. I think sometimes you look back on your career and you don't 
see where you've been and, and how you enjoyed it at the time. So I think you have to take a step back sometimes and realise what you're doing. I think there's more to come from you. Fans can see more of you. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. I've not played my best football since I've been at Watford. Um, I feel comfortable, but there's a, there's a lot more com to come from me, definitely. And you scored a lovely goal at Burnley away and, and, and Fulham at home. We expect more of that. Yeah, yeah. We, I've said that for years um, that I do need to score more goals and, and create more assists, and hopefully it'll just take a few games to get in the rhythm of it and then it'll, it'll come naturally, but it's definitely something that I want to improve on. Hello, hello. Click here to subscribe.